There it sits. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Drone. I am so thankful that you came back home. Hey there fellow riders, today's moto vlog is a bit different. We're not just hitting the road, we're hitting the road with a purpose. To debunk the myth that being 60 plus years old should stop you from having a new adventure. Now some might say, hey, you're over 60, shouldn't you be settling down, sipping tea, reminiscing about the good old days? Well to that, I say, absolutely not. Age is just a number, folks. It doesn't define your spirit or your thirst for adventure. In fact, being 60 plus means you've got a wealth of experience and wisdom under your belt, making you even more equipped to take on new adventures. Now think about it. You spent decades navigating the twists and turns of life. You've overcome obstacles, faced fears, and conquered mountains, both literal and metaphorical. So why should a little thing like age hold you back now? Sure, your joints might creak a bit more, and your hair might have a few more strands of gray, but your spirit, your spirit, it's as vibrant as ever. And let me tell you, the thrill of embarking on a new adventure doesn't diminish with age. If anything, it becomes even more exhilarating. Whether it's hitting the open road on a motorcycle like this one, skydiving, learning a new skill, or traveling to exotic destinations, there's no shortage of adventures waiting to be had. So to all my fellow riders out there who are 60 plus and beyond, I say this, don't let anyone tell you that you're too old for a new adventure. Embrace it with open arms, rev up that engine, and ride into the sunset with the wind in your hair and a heart full of excitement. Arrived at Fall Creek Falls. Uh, gonna take a look around. There's an outer loop, inner loop. I don't know. There's a trail that it's on top of the falls, a trail on the bottom of the falls. Uh, I've come to hike a little bit, get off the bike, take some walks. Let's take a look and uh, see what Fall Creek Falls is all about. So before we go out here, uh, another video of mine, uh, look for the link up here where I went to uh, Lily Bluff. I am afraid of heights and this is pretty high. Uh, it's pretty busy out here today, but yeah, this is a beautiful area. Gonna be uh, all over it today. You can't tell, but this is pretty dang steep. And the novice I am, I didn't know I'd be hiking that much today. I thought I'd be riding a dang motorcycle, but decided to go to this other falls and look at it. Could be a two mile hike there and back. Already started, forgot my water. So we'll see how it goes. So unlike some of the trails I've been on in the past that are abandoned and you don't see anybody and uh, can get a little bit creepy if you creeped out by such things, we're good. Nice, big, bright, open area, good signage. Hey, 
hey, glad I got up today. Glad I decided to have an adventure. However many more years I can travel and I can get on my motorcycle, I'm going to do it. But let's just sit down, relax, have a look, and enjoy the day. Taking a break on the trail, looking for Fall Creek Falls. The one we just looked at was a little smaller. It's called something different. But I found on a map where I can ride the Harley pretty darn close to a secret overlook and maybe walk quarter mile back into the woods. I don't think it's marked. Now this almost looks like a tornado went through here. Dang. Uh, can we say it came through here? Yeah, I would say this is where a tornado came through. I think we're here. We're going to take a look. I'm not digging everything about it. Oh yeah. Oh, those are fresh. They smell good. Someone came up here. Jess, or Jesse came up here and had a coffee and brought somebody flowers. Either way, it's sad, okay? So either he's missing somebody that he lost or she and brought flowers and a cup of coffee just to kind of reflect. Or he came up here and proposed to someone and she said no. <laughs> Left the flowers. Straight across, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big boulders up there, cliff, and there's probably about four or five people sitting up there walking around. I don't see anything that, any railing up there. I think they've just hiked there. That's, now that's what you will not find me doing, is going anywhere like that that uh, doesn't have a railing. I'm comfortable here because I, even if I fall I'm going onto some rocks here and it's not a big deal. But it's a big, big deal over there though. And over there. It's a big deal right here. I'm out. Yeah, so this is cool. Look at that. Let's hope my bike is there. I wasn't there before. There's a bike. Escape route. Pretty quick trip home there, huh? <laughs> so what did we learn today? Adventure can happen at any age. Life's too short to let your age dictate what you can and cannot do. So if you're looking for an exhilarating experience with a unique perspective and the freedom like no other, then go ahead, take the plunge, make that new adventure. You might be surprised, you might feel half your age. 
It was a fun day today. Thanks for watching the Skitch on Wheels channel. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. We have one more thing with Zoe. What are we doing today, Zoe? Yeah, we're doing You proud of your bubby? Yeah. What do you have to say to him? Love you. Graduating? <laughs> Masters of Nurse Practitioner. Is that good? You gotta call him now? Call him now with all your pro medical problems, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> dance. Mm.